Right, I haven't even had a chance to to take the opening shot, and Dad's in already. Is that because you want to get on camera? I can't have all my opening shots of you catching fish. Is he big or is he just, is he just that trying hard? It's a nice little float you've got on there, though. Yeah. Especially when you're in close, there's no need to. You're right? Yeah? Welcome to uh, Fish with Fish. We're at Willow Marsh this week. As you can see, Dad's already catching. I haven't even set up. Um, nice looking swim. Um, don't know whether to feed the fish to the island. Uh, nah. Whole fishing's away. So, uh, welcome to Fish with Fish. Roll the credits. Right, here we are at Willow Marsh. Um, Dad's already in. Um, he's already caught, uh, what is it, Dad? A carp and two roach? Yeah. A carp and two roach within five minutes. Uh, I'll just tell you very quickly, I've, I'm only plumbing one line at the minute. Um, it's been lovely and warm. Uh, so I'm not fishing far out, which is about par for the course for me. Um, probably, uh, to be honest, I'm just doing my top kit at the minute, but my top kit, it's a double top kit, so it's about seven, six, seven foot long, so <clears throat> very quickly, um, I'm doing the little dren, dren and dibber again, uh, bulk shot between, halfway between the float and the, uh, and the hook, um, and then there's another set of bulk. Uh, pro sorry, that's about a, a one third, that's two thirds. We've got a little dropper shot right by the hook, size 16 hook. So let me talk to the camera. I'm going to put two dead maggots on, a red and a white. As, as I've mentioned before on this, on this channel, as I've mentioned before on this channel, um, I'm not precious about the channel. Um, the more, the more, pe the more guys who make fishing videos, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Um, if you're interested in any little fishing channels, there's a guy called Bill who does easy fishing, and I've got to be honest, he's a bit of a legend. If you watch his fishing channel, you want to learn how to fish with a whip or any any little fishing fishing tricks, tips, anything like that, you got to watch his channel. He's a smashing guy. Um, I, love, I love his attitude, so keep it up, Bill. That's him all the way out there. I might have to pour another. And this is where the, the 
pole roller comes into effect because I've got extra lengths of pole set up. This is a pretty good fish. This is a pretty good fish. I'll be good to get this in, I think. It's all the way out there. He knows what he's doing. I'm going to have to take my time with this. Just purely by testing the depth, trying to get different depths out. I could see the fish were there, but I couldn't see where they were feeding, at what depth they were feeding, sorry. Um, we might just get a look at him. Oh, he's a nice fish, Dad, this is. Still not ready. Um, he's doing exactly what he wants, to be honest. Uh, not yet. I'll be a while yet. Then. Uh, the initial run was quite. What's it? Just seeing if I can get his head up. taking him down to the top kit. Just going straight through the swim. Get some more feed out. Um, it just shows the benefits of trying different different things. Um, I'm going to have to start tightening up on him a little bit. Not bullying him. I'm not letting him have all his own way. Green stim pellet. Please don't come out. The size of that guy's tail. Right, I think he's I think he's nearly ready. This is a lovely fish. Well done with a marsh. No, I'm alright, Dad. I don't think he's got the line wrapped around him now. He's digging in. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. That's better. Line's off him now. Just keep swimming. Right in the swim. Right, I might have to rest that one a little bit. But this is a lovely fish. And he's ass. Oh my god, the oak's just fell out of him now. So. Right, I might put this one on the mat so he can see it, but just explain a few things. This is what we call a mirror car. Alright, fella, alright, fella. Alright, 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 alright. All right. Bit lively. Yeah, a bit lively. There we go. 
fit the net under him. But that's a lovely, lovely fish. Gorgeous fish. Look at the colours of him. Well, that's as I say, that's what we call a mirror carp. Right, let's put him back. Can you see him, Dad? That's persevering with that. So I'm having a discussion with Dad. Um, I might as well tell you both. Um, that was persevering with the uh, with the pellets, the bigger pellets, feeding the micro pellets. We're having a bigger pellet pellet on the hook. Um, I could I knew the fish were there. I could see the float moving. But it's what we call line bites which means I needed to find the depth that the fish were fishing for. Find the depth that the fish were feeding at. Um, and I did that by adjusting, 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 just an inch or so every time. And then you saw it paid off. So, back in, try the pellet again. Right, Willow Marsh, uh, this is, um, New, a new uh, segment I'm thinking of doing at different venues um, and it's for venues that uh, actually do uh, food so first review uh, I'll always have the same sandwich so I can review it honestly and fairly this is the first one I'm doing so I have nothing to compare it to so Willow Marsh Sausage and egg, red sauce sandwich. First of all, it's nicely wrapped. Comes with a handy hanky. Because I will get it down, mate. So you have a handy hanky, nicely wrapped in silver foil. Gotta say, it's a very warm sandwich. Delivered to the peg and ordered from the peg also. Oh, it's like a work of art. Lovely soft sure. Lovely soft white bread, as you can see. Let's see how evenly. Nice egg. Sausages. Sauce evenly about. Taste test. Right, note to self for next next segment. Don't take such a big bite, you creak it. Very nice sandwich. Lovely soft white bread. Um, marking out of 10. 11. It's not an 11. How could it be 11? It's the first one. I've got to, I've got to. Right, first time we've done this. Our first time at Willow Marsh. We will be coming again. So I will compare this to uh, succeeding sandwiches. But as I say, I will always stay with sausage and egg with red sauce, so they give an even and fair assessment of the sandwich. But this one is a bloody good start, I've got to say. Thank you to the lady who uh, cooked it. To add on to the segment about the sandwiches, we will also be reviewing the coffee, a la Peter McKinnon. All right, Pete. Coffee, it's from a wagon, so 
it's going to be an instant coffee. So I'm not going to judge them for the fact that they're using instant coffee. It's warm, strong, two sugars. It has a, um, a burnt umber flavour, a brown umber type of coffee type flavour. It's very um, coffee like. Mark's out of 10, a solid 7 I'd say, solid 7. I haven't been fishing for about half an hour because I've been eating my sandwich and my coffee, I better, better get on with it. As I say, the, um, the coin folks here, they come round to the peg where you're fishing, they'll take your order, go away, do it, come back, and it's lovely and warm. So uh, I can't fault it, what a service, brilliant, thank you very much. Another thin perfect willow marsh, mirror carp again, a bit slimmer this one. We've, uh, Sometimes when you're fishing you see nature in tooth and claw and we've just seen a baby coot taken by a, uh, by a heron gull. Um, God bless the parents, they tried their hardest but they didn't stand a chance to be honest. So. Oops. Again, quite impressed with these these green stem pellet. Oh, not bad fish. Going to do his initial run. The pole take all the strain. Bad looking fish. Right, the trick is if the fish don't understand when you've got another fish on, so what you have to do is just keep feeding your swims, keeping them there. Put them down a little bit now. So. Not bullying, as I said before. Take your time. Oh, that's a nice dog. Just a quick glimpse of his big tail. There becomes a time when you have to show them. A little bit of his boss right, he's just, just saw loads of fish move out that swim there. Wait for the fish to swim towards you before you pull on your elastic. You got a side puller. Again it's another another willow marsh mirror. Going right in the corner of the mouth there. Fish's mouth, huh? I need to be careful about using so much jargon. Look at grey fish, this one. Beautiful fish. Nice 
big tail. Been perfect. These fish are a testament to Willow Marsh. That mark on his mouth. Again, barbless hooks. They've got to be used. Oops. Now, he's in a shoot. Which does happen sometimes. Especially on... It's normally with... Uh, it's normally with fresh fish. And uh, just come from a fishery. It's not normally the fish that have been in the water for a while. Um, and what's happened is, there's like they've got on some of the some of the things like little barbs on the back dorsal fin. There's one, and on the um, uh, the anal fin, there's one as well. Um, and what's happened is the fish has just got caught on the net. So what you do is just take your time, get the fish back in. And sort him out. Sometimes, as well, to induce a, bat, a, a bite, what you have to do just twitch it slightly, and just literally just just move your bait a little bit. And depending on what the what's on the bottom, it could be that you've uh, oh well, that, that you've. Um, You've got it in a little bit of weed, or it could be that it's not sitting right. So just by just just shifting it slightly, you put a puff of the silt up, or just shows the fish a little bit of interest. Or if one's just looking at it, might induce a bite. So we've had a couple of big fish out of this this swim here. And I, I have a feeling I need to leave it for a little bit, let it fill back up again and get a little bit more confident. Just bite, so, like that. Oh, it's a big fish. He's just suddenly realised he's been caught. Right. After the initial run. I like to keep the pole low initially. And it just seems to calm them down a little bit till they've sort of done the first bit of a run. And I like to lift it just so I can see what's the potential weight of the fish. I'm going to have to put another, another section on here. Let's see if we can see what the fish is like. So the fish is coming towards you before you tighten up. He saw me then. Right, carry on feeding your swims. Not particularly big fishes. Give him a good account of it. Oh, I think I might have fouled up too much as he wrapped it around himself. Foul look. In actual fact, I think he is foul look. Another mirror. All similar, similar coloration. I don't know whether they're all from the same batch or 
all that, except for that big one, obviously. That's very similar to the last one we had. Again, been perfect. No mark on his mouth, as you can see. Uh, lovely, lovely fish. Let's get him back. Right, we're in again. Another one of marsh carp. I'm just wondering, is this one going to be any different? Is it going to be a, a mirror? I don't know what the, what the, the main fish are in here, but they're nice fish. Looks like another mirror. I'm going to have to get myself a telephoto lens, Dad, I think. Huh? I'm going to have to get myself a telephoto lens. I don't think there's as many tench in this one as there is in the middle one. No. Right, as, as I said, keep feeding the, the swims. That's come off this dish. Yeah. Uh, Perch. I remember Graham catching. Uh, I mean, I wasn't here, but being told Graham caught some really big perch in there. But we're going back a while now, I think. Yeah, it's another mirror. Slightly bigger than the last one. I've got to be honest, giving a good account of himself, I don't think he's, he's a big fish at all. Got him in the net, and the hooks come out. Ho, 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 ho. Lucky, lucky boy. I just, I can't believe. How lovely these fish are. They're just, every single one of them. Like perfect. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again.